Hello, so I thought uh, I'd do sort of a follow-up video to the uh, one I did uh, titled The uh, Myth and the Mac and the Musician, which you can find up here, where I look at why you don't necessarily need to use an Apple Mac for music production and other music software tasks. Um, and I talk about how I use a uh, personal computer myself, I use a PC myself rather than a Mac. So I thought I'd show you my uh, audio workstation. So uh, starting at the front here, um, Ignore the floppy drive for th for this part. Uh, this is my main computer as well, so I use it for a lot of other weird tinkering. There's actually got videos off my channel about it there um, that aren't really music related. But something I just wanted to start at the front with, and the reason I wanted to start at the front of this, is this optical drive here. This is the Blu-ray uh, reader and writer. The use of optical media, the use of CDs and things, has been dwindling a lot, but I, I find it's still quite useful to have as a musician, you sometimes just get given music, you know, in physical copy, or sometimes uh, people want a physical version of it, or sometimes you want, you want some sort of backup. I find that it's really useful to have around. It doesn't get used all the time, but when it does, it's I'm really glad it's there. So that, that, that's the one thing I feel should be included and not so ignored on other people's uh, audio workstations. Uh, one thing I also want to say is I'm only going to be looking at the computer and, uh, and mentioning bits of the software in this video. I'm not going to do a full run of monitors and audio interface and microphones and everything. Uh, because the other video was just about computers, we're just going to be focusing on my music and audio production workstation. So let's spin around and have a look at the side. And so here we now have the inside of the computer. Now I, uh, I built this one myself, uh, which I, I definitely recommend for um, you know serious audio production work. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, talking about Macs again who uh, keep the older style, sort of the tower like this style uh, Mac Pros rather than going for the sort of the dustbin design. Uh, and the big reason for that is there's so much you can actually change inside of it. That's part of the reason why I did opt to go uh, with PC and build it myself. I can I can add things in and remove things as I need to and upgrade things. So let's start at the heart of all computers, the processors under here. Uh, I have a um, an 8-core AMD uh, FX, I think it's an 8350. Um, by the way, this this rig I built uh, in late 2015, so you know some of the parts are going to seem a bit out of date. Um, I wanted a uh, powerful with a high uh, clock speed and lots of cores processor uh, for the time. And so far, yeah, it's, it's paying off really well. Everything I chuck at it, it does really well. No complaints there. I know that um, in the gaming side of things, um, people sort of talk down on them a bit. But honestly, in the work I do, the cores they have, the speed and everything, it's perfect. It's, so far, it's not failed to tackle anything I've thrown at it. And to go with that, we also have a uh, Cooler Master, a Hyper Evo. 212, just to keep it nice and cool. What we also have then have as well is in here we have 16 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM. Obviously, uh, with that FX processor, DDR3 is the best you could get. Uh, I've stuck 16 cores in it, it's done me brilliantly so far for audio production. The motherboard is the Asus Sabertooth uh, 990FX Revision 2. Uh, I wanted a nice, tough, expandable. A motherboard for it, and so far, no hiccups, it works brilliantly. And what else has is a USB 3.0. Obviously, that's a more common feature nowadays. This PC, like I said, is a couple of years old now, and uh, it's really useful to have. Now, I do have this, which normally we don't talk about in um, in auto work say This is my graphics card uh, because I use this for video production, hence, you know, it get, all this video is going to be rendered using that, but also a bit of gaming. This is a uh, this is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. Powering it all is a Corsair uh, 750 watt power supply, slightly overkill, but I like it that way. Uh, you know, you never have to worry about things running out. And then what we have is five drives. Now it seems like there's only four, but one of them is sneakily stuck up here. So we have up here one SSD, I believe this is a 62 gig SSD. We have a 250 gig SSD in there, and then we have a two one terabyte drives and a 500 gig, which I think is also 7200 RPM drive, which is where I store everything. Now at this point I can just start, you know, I can upgrade, I can add things in, I can change things. It's it's exactly what I need to be in a computer. In the, the back I.O. is uh, mostly USB, uh, USB 3.0. Uh, there's no Thunderbolt or uh, Firewire or anything like that, unfortunately. But one thing it does have, which I find quite handy, is a PS2 port, which I use the keyboard for. Not many people really think about why they'd need one, but I've had a computer before um, where the drivers in Windows for the USBs go, and I just can't do anything to the computer. So with this, the PS2 drive is unlikely to have a go because I think it, it sends its protocol straight to the CPU, something like that. So if I ever have that problem again, I don't have to worry. Something you can't do so easily in Macs is uh, the cooling. So I already mentioned the uh, beefy CPU cooler. The case originally came with a 120mm fan there and a 140mm fan in the front. I've stuck another 140mm fan in the front and I've stuck 240mm fans exhausting. So the comes in here, goes out there. Uh, everything is nice and chilled, and I know uh, that the FX processors have a bit of a reputation for being really hot, and they do get hot, uh, but not in this computer, they don't. Uh, they're kept nice and cool, no for water cooling, 
uh, it's perfect. Now, normally, though, if this was going in a studio, this, this isn't going in a professional studio, by the way, this is my, my own one. You would probably want to put a computer like this with that many fans sort of hidden away somewhere, maybe another room. Uh, you want a bit of noise dampening, because occasionally the fans do kick in a little bit. But for me, it's never been a problem. Now, let's, let's talk a bit about what we have on here. So, uh, those two SSDs are both for, uh, are running the two operating systems. See, I dual boot it. Uh, and the main one we've got on there is uh, Windows 10 Professional Edition. And uh, for that is what I, most, I mostly use uh, things like Pro Tools, Sibelius Guitar Pro on there. But then I also dual boot it with a Linux distribution called Ubuntu Studio, which is set up specifically for uh, sort of creative people, but mainly I see it as an audio workstation. It even comes with a low latency kernel. It's really, really good. So the main piece of software I use on there is Ardor, MuseScore, and uh, a bit of LMS. So I haven't been looking at that too much. And honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying sort of going between the two. Uh, when we get to the video production side of things, for both of them, because I'm, I, I like to use cross-platform pieces of software, so I can, I can sort of interchange which Whatever I'm using. Uh, I've been using GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program for actually editing the thumbnails and other graphic design and things like that. And uh, the uh, video editor I'm using is Kadian Live, which has been uh, working perfectly for me. It was a brilliant upgrade from what I was running before. Uh, it, was, uh, it was Windows Live Movie Maker. And yeah, uh, it does everything I need. I'm, I'm not wanting for anything with either of those. Yeah, th this, 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 is, uh, this is my computer and it's it runs perfectly for me. What I want to do, uh, I don't feel the need to upgrade anything at the moment. Uh, it's all running pretty solidly. Um, news production has been ace on it. Can't complain. Uh, and it, it did cost less than a Mac. Well, it cost, it, cost, it cost about as much as a Mac. It was, a, it was fairly expensive to build at the time, but you know, I find it would be a bit more stable than that. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you watch the other video, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.